What is up, heroes? This is Matt Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we made our way past, I believe, like the fourth chapter inspired section, and now we have this thing to worry about, which I totally forgot. <laughs> have no idea what it is. Okay. So I guess that's uh, what it is. Oh, that's right, I can, like, break out of them. That's right. So how am I gonna get that strawberry? That's probably a little bit too much. Too early again! Why am I always early? Why did I do that? <laughs> that is that is not the way to go. I love that you can like see Madeline spinning inside of it as it's moving. There we go. Except then I used my my dash in a panic. Whoa! What do I do? What do I do? Help! Please! Okay! Whoa! What? No, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, guys? Did you see that? Did you see that? What? Oh, man. Restart chapter? I don't want to do that. I saved and quit. Seriously? That... That makes me so upset. What happens if I click retry? Oh, it's gonna bring me back here. And if I restart the chapter... <sighs> I'm very upset about that. I'm very upset about that. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen if I kept flying to the right, so I hit dash down when I thought I was before the transition screen, but then I ended up just dashing down to that pit. So I don't have that strawberry. <sighs> Wow. That's really frustrating. Um, oh, that's right, that's how those work. Um, let's see here. Any way to get up there? I don't know, doesn't look like it. I'm gonna be salty about that for a minute. <sighs> Probably should have just jumped on the side. I probably don't need to use that dash there, but it doesn't matter in the end. Up here? No? Okay. Oops. I guess we'll head up then. Then what, though? Oh, the whole idea, I guess, is that I need to, uh, do that. Wait, what? How am I supposed to... How do they want me to get up here? I need to go down and then up through one of these things. That's what it is. What's on the right side? Key. So I'm going to need to do one on each side. That's what they're telling me here. Oh, 
Don't know why I waited, but hey, that's all right. She's probably wall cling. They're probably timed just so that I can't do that. All right, and up we go. Now on the right side. All right, up we go. And now we've got the key. That was not too bad. if we go up. I knew it. <laughs> what is up here? Strawberry, I'm sure. Interesting. Oh, you know what? I probably need to... Ah, I see that I can cling on that side. And it's all coming together. I think it might be to just do something like that. That's still too much. Got that one. What is up there? We uh we hitting some switches it seems. Okay, we got that one. All right, simple enough. Darn. A little bit too early. I think I need to save my jump there, so I should get all the way up here. So I can do that, yeah. That way I can save my dash. Why did I do that again? I poorly timed that. And again. Really gotta work on that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, so close! <laughs> so close. <laughs> Dang. Whew. Alright, there we go. Made it. And it looks like that's what we would have experienced had we gone this way. Yeah, because I don't even have the ability to go back that way. No, I don't. Okay, okay. Um, we can boing there. Make our way up there. Aw, oh, all those. Fell a little bit too far there. Yeah, that's not going to work out too well. Wait, what? No! I missed! In the words of Wario, Oh, I missed! Shout out to uh, those of you who have played Mario Party on the N64. Excellent line. 
Are those spikes right above it? Oh, that they are. So I need to. Interesting. Interesting. Are we really already at this part? We're already potentially moving on with Badalin? Oh man. So that was not how I anticipated that going. But that's okay. Hmm. Okay, and drop. Boing. Up we go. What is down here? Wait, no! Oh, come on! <laughs> I tried to grab on, I swear, guys. Don't hate me. Watch there, like, not even be a secret there or anything. And then I got impatient. I at least know how to get, like, past this segment. I don't think it's actually that crazy difficult. It's actually pretty fun, given, like, the whole, like, bouncing all over the place and quick platforming. I'm a fan. And drop. Boing. Alright, let's see here. I feel like there's a secret along... No! No, no, no. There we go. <laughs> I was like, I swear there's a secret there, but don't mess it up. Okay, anything else of interest? Ooh, this looks cool. I like that a lot. That's a really cool mechanic. Oh, but I don't like that I have to start all the way back here if I mess it up. Not a fan, not a fan. I changed my mind. Take it back. I don't want to jump on top of it. I want to jump on the side of it, Madeline. Work with me. I know, I know. It's my fault. It's not Madeline's fault. Or Madeline's fault, for that matter. There we go. All right. Propelled even further upward. This is it. The home stretch. We're so close. We're going to make it. Yeah. What's wrong? I'm just... I'm sorry. I was holding you back. I need to learn to trust you. Hey, hey, hey. All things that need to be fixed are two-way street. Right? There's certainly stuff that Madeline could have been doing to make it easier for Badalyn to help her out, right? It's not your fault. I tried to leave you behind. And honestly, I've been trying to leave you behind my entire life. Believe me guys, it's both of your fault. You can get over it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish I tried to understand you sooner. I was too proud or stubborn or something. We wasted so much time and energy. At least we're finally talking about it. Yeah. I'm glad the mountain brought you out. I think we can move past this. Oof, the beauty of identifying your flaws, your dark side, what you're trying to run away from, identifying it, understanding it, and then working together with it to move on as a better person who can do more things than they could have prior. Oof, Celeste, getting real deep. If we can climb this mountain together, we can do anything. What if we don't make it? I'd be okay with that. You would? Of course. I'm just glad we're trying. I really needed to do this. And I mean, even if you don't make it to the top, you've already gained so much from just the experience. I'm finally starting to understand why. Let's finish it. Oh yeah. 3,000 meters. All right. Long, long interruption, but uh, good interruption. So we've made it to 3,000 feet. We're on the home stretch. We are climbing. I'm digging this music. What is... 30? Oh! The flags! It was 30 and then 29. Oh my goodness, it feels so close! It feels like we're almost there! We can make it! Propelled even further! 28. 
Wow. Alright, so do we go to the right? No, we can't go to the right. Oh! I can go to the right. Do I have, like, all the gems? Oh! Oh, am I missing these two? So, obviously that is a crystal heart. Do I have these gems? I think I do. Why did only those two go? Oh, I probably had to have collected them throughout everything up until this point. Oh, that's a shame. So I guess I missed them. All right, well, anything down here? No, how about over here? Hmm, okay. That's a shame, but it's all right, we'll, we'll, we'll come back. Okay, there's 26. Wow, these are moving a lot more quickly than I thought they would. Okay, and here's 25. I'm, I'm so excited, guys, and I feel so, like, hopeful. 24. It feels like I'm not able to jump as high. Is that because of, like, the rain, or because of, like... I don't know. I overjumped it again. Climb, Madeline, climb! I believe in you! Oh. But I, uh, did not accurately estimate how that would boing me. Nope, don't go up all the way. Okay. So how am I going to want to do this? I obviously need to only use one dash. Oh, that was not the way to do it. <laughs> oh, I'm all the way down here at 24? Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, and I overdid it again. I don't think I even need to really, like, dash there. That's okay. There we go. 23. We are, we are cruising. And... Um, alright. Hmm, 22 is right up there. Again, moving right along, and that's moving backwards, so not, not like that, Madeline. Okay. Oh, wait, no. I was like, as soon as I jumped, I was like, wait a minute, because of the rain, I'm gonna fall. And it's not gonna, not gonna turn out as planned. And can I? Thank you. Okay, we made it there. Ooh. So I obviously needed one of my dashes there. Camera, please. Aw, oh, man. Hmm. How am I supposed to... Let's see here. <laughs> I almost made it back. <laughs> I almost made it back. I was like, improvise, you can do it. I feel like if I hadn't hesitated and really just committed to falling all the way to the left, I could have made it. Let's try it. Oh, uh, no, I tried to... I did it again. I literally said try to just commit to the left and uh, see what happens. Okay, there we go. You've obtained that strawberry. Alright, and that's 20... Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna have to jump up there. Let's see here. Ooh, is there a secret over here? Oh no, there isn't! Rip. We're boosting. 
Keep on boosting. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. And further we go. Keep on climbing. 19. Now the wind is pushing us upwards. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, we can get really high up there. Okay, 18. Seventeen, one of my favorite numbers. Oh, I, I was like, you know, it's all right. You can you can afford to take a break and slow down here, and I should have, but I did not. In my haste, I destroyed myself. For some reason, I didn't see the blue spikes on top of that snow-covered platform and thought I could land there. Obviously, uh, didn't turn out too well. Why don't I do that again? Is it possible to make it over there just without using any of my jumps? There we go. No, I definitely need to use one of my dashes there. Okay. No! Okay, you can make it. Alright, cool. Let's do this. Ah! Oh. Almost. Hmm. Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that is not what I'm talking about. That's number 15. We're cruising. Getting plenty of strawberries, too. Alright, looks like we're gonna need to go up this way. And. 14! Oh man, I'm so excited, guys! Okay. Ooh. Oh, I should have wall clung. That's what I should have done. And then I can kind of reset my, my momentum and all that. Okay, over, over, up, climb, climb, oh, I held to the left when I should have just gone back up, and I should have wall clung, like I said earlier, but alas, uh, I just wasted some energy, so that's not going to turn out well, no! Gotta be really efficient with my climbing here. That was not efficient. That was my death. Oh, that was. I felt like I was really living life on the edge there. There we go! 13. Okay. Whew. We're, we're moving right along, guys. Um, Alright, and boing. And boing. Up here. Boing. Boing. Oh no! I thought I was going to hit the spring! Ah. Uh, sorry. Either way, I don't think this is going to be too difficult of a section. <laughs> Famous last words, right? <laughs> nope. You can fall, Madeline. Boing. Oh, no! <laughs> That's actually a really uh, tight corridor there. Come on, you can fall. Oh, really? I thought I had it. Gotta get my space in just right. That's alright, I can do that. And practice makes perfect. And I am certainly getting practice. <laughs> there we go. Twelve. Alright, 
cling. There we go. 11. Oof, moving right along. We're almost in the single digits, guys. Climb, climb, climb. Nice. Made it to 10. And boing. Oof. I don't know where I was supposed to get a second um, dash there. That was a really cool segment. I like that a lot. Ah, I wasn't supposed to use it there. Nine, we're in the single digits. Woo! Ooh. Gonna have to kind of weave in and out here. It's gonna be a tough one. Hmm. Yeah, that's... Woo! <laughs> Sorry about that, Madeline. Yeah, this is gonna be tough, guys. This is gonna be a tough one. Um... I think what I need to do is do that and then kind of reset. I actually need to jump into it, though. That's uh, generally helpful. After I jump, though, I need to just kind of fall straight down. Like that. And then space myself a little bit better. Ooh, this segment's gonna be tough. They're like, welcome to the single digits! Hope you enjoy your stay, because you'll be here a while. Oh, and that's one of the ones where I should have just let it go. Oh, wait a minute, but if I do that... Oh, so I'm not... Hmm. Let's see here. Gotcha. Okay, I have an idea now. Oh, I almost had it, but I think that's the right idea. Nice. We made it to eight. Up here. And seven. We're cruising, guys. We're cruising. I should get another one of those. Ooh, it's getting really bright. Keep going, Madeline. You can do it. Even further. Ooh, the feather. All right, let's see what we have here. And who, who is texting me so much? My apologies for the interruption. Oh, that's right. I forgot how those worked. Anything over this way? I wouldn't be surprised if there were like a secret there or something. It would be pretty cool actually. How about up here? Hm, maybe not. Okay. We will keep on climbing. No! You can make it, Madeline! Alright, five. And the wind has died down, it seems. Oh, that was probably not the way I'm supposed to do that. Yeah, I gotta save one of my dashes. Four. We can take a look at what's ahead. Okay. So, you can land on that, jump, dash, refresh, use one dash to cling onto that, then jump, dash over, spring, boing, and then double dash to get up there. Why is this so weird? Um, and then grab the feather, then we have to navigate underneath there, and then I bet we could go over there, but I bet there's a secret passage up there. Like right where the up arrow is right now, I bet there's a secret passage. So I'm gonna try that first. But otherwise, we just need to get to the right and then we're at three. And then, oh wow. Then we keep going up. And we would need to spring, climb, save at least one of our dashes to get that. Then keep ascending. That's gonna be a tough spot. Get another one, keep going up. There's two. Is there something down here? No. At least not to my knowledge. 
So then there's two. Then we jump up there to get that, and then we climb, we keep climbing, boing. Wow. And then we're almost at the very top. Holy cow! The end is in sight! The end is in sight! Wait. Wait, what just happened? No, did I accidentally skip it? Oh, I accidentally skipped something, I can almost guarantee it. No, what happens if we go all the way up again? Oh, I'm gonna be so sad if I missed a cutscene. Does it just, like, automatically zoom in on it? The fact that it's happening again reassures me that I didn't miss, like, a really important cutscene or something that was gonna happen anyways. Alright, well, I guess there's there's the peak. There's no going back now. <laughs> okay. So... Oof. How motivating to see the end. Alright, jump over. Oh, there's a strawberry! There's a strawberry up there. I knew it! I knew there was a secret! <laughs> okay. Jump over. Boing. Okay. Oh. What? It like totally froze up there. I don't know what happened. But uh, it wasn't me, I swear, guys. And it wasn't the recording. Wait, why did I... Why did I do that? Uh... All right, here we go. It's time. Land, huh, how am I supposed to make it up there? You know what, I bet I have to fall from even higher up. I bet that's what I need to do. Let me take a look again real quick. So yeah, this it'll be all the way on the left, I believe. Hmm, actually no, I probably do need to just do it from here. How am I going to do that part though? Because that looks pretty tough. And it's not a matter of using the like golden feather more efficiently either. I feel like I need to jump over that little blue mound of spikes, and that will be a relatively challenging uh, part of that. But once I've done that, then I just need to dash to the left, and then up left, and they'll be up there. So now I'm just getting impatient, which is why I end up dashing into this so many times in a row. No, oh, I was expecting to, like, fall for some reason. Like it was one of those diamonds that replenishes my jumps, but alas, t'was not the case. There we go. Okay, but now I need to uh, finish this segment. There we go. We've made it to three. Ooh, that's... That's moving quickly, guys. I can do it, though. Wait, no! No! <laughs> I thought I dashed straight left, and so then I was already holding to the right in order to, uh, like, direct this thing. No, I should have saved my jump! I had made it! I had made it! I just didn't save my second dash. I panicked and then used it as a safety, but uh, it ended up being my demise. That's alright. We can do it again. Except for some reason I keep underestimating that little segment there. Also, that was a very weird 
jump and not cling. Why am I having so much difficulty with just that turn? Why am I not turning it enough? That was not how it's supposed to go, but it'll work out. No! <laughs> I was like anticipating what was going to happen. So I, uh. Wow, what a stupid way to die. Um. So I turned up a little bit more quickly than I should have. Rather than reacting, I was anticipating what type of movement I would need to do. Oh man, I should have just gone to the right so I could wall cling and take a second to think. That's a frustrating way to die. <laughs> No! Why did I do it again? Oh, why did I do it again? It's just like my like panic, like safety measure dash. That's all right. That's all right. We will persevere. No! No, are you kidding me? <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? What was that? Okay. Oh, man. Alright. We were so close. We screwed it up right at the end. <laughs> I did not anticipate this segment being as troubling as, as it is proven to be. There we go. Two. Two. Count them two. <laughs> Marshmallows. It's not a uh, Midnight Zero Let's Play if there isn't a proper Spongebob reference in every episode, is it? <laughs> Oh, and so the bottom of the screen keeps, like, coming up like that. Why did I... I'm just, like, panicked. Keeps coming up, so I can't afford to really go back down at all. Oh, man. I think I need to just rely on making the horizontal distance there, and then just going straight up at that point. Yeah. That is indeed what I needed to do. Oh, I shouldn't have used my dash! That seems to be a theme here. I end up just kind of willy-nilly using my my dashes, but they're really forcing me to conserve them for when I really need them. I have to be very strategic with each of them. One! We're almost there, guys! We're almost there! The end is in sight. It's getting so quiet. <gasps> We're at the flag. We made it. We made it to the top. We actually did it. I can't believe it. Wow, it's so beautiful. Look at how far we've come. It's all about the journey along the way. I'm glad I got to see this before I... Before you... Wait, no. Well, before I... Oh, right. When we leave the mountain, you won't be able to talk to me anymore. At least not like this. Yeah. I know that we need to go home eventually. But it'll be scary to lose this body. You'll still exist, though. You were part of me before we came here. Yeah, I know. 
but I'm going to have to depend on you to listen to me. Even if I can't talk to you in person anymore. I just can't go back to how it was before. Before the mountain. Don't worry, I can't go back to that either. I really want us to work together from now on. I believe you. But I'm still nervous. Totally natural reaction. So, now what? Enjoy the moment. Yeah, let's just enjoy this for a bit. Relish in all of your accomplishment, all of your hard work, and the beauty of being at the top of this mountain. We're gonna get a nice CG screen. Wow, so that's the end of the chapter. Beautiful, oh, such gorgeous art. Beautiful music. Let's relish in this. How beautiful. And I love that they're not gonna push us past this chapter complete screen, right? They're gonna let us sit here, soak it in, enjoy our accomplishment as long as we want. Wow. And with that, we have the credits. Guys, we just finished Celeste. What a wonderful experience. I'll start by saying, no, this isn't the end of the Let's Play. We have plenty, we have plenty left to do in this game, and I assure you, I will do that. Um, but first, my thoughts on the game thus far. Wow, uh, truly a masterpiece. Um, my only, I only have one complaint, and that it's not easier to go back to segments you already have explored. Um, but the things I love are, you know, so numerous. Uh, to start, I think the story is something that probably goes a little bit under the radar. Um, the development of Madeline as a character, the establishment of Madeline, the conflict um, as a demonstration of, you know, her inner conflict with different parts of herself, a part of her she didn't like, part of her she wanted to move on. Um, obviously the messages about identifying yourself, understanding that all the different parts of you, even if you dislike them, um, coming to terms, uh, and knowing that there's probably a misunderstanding more so than anything, and that there is probably good intent behind uh, what those actions are, you know, manifesting as. But when you work together, uh, when you do understand each other, you can do so much more uh, than you could have alone. And there's so much to say about that. All the different characters, right? Like we see Mr. Oshiro here representing different, um, different, spe you know, I or different. Uh, points on that spectrum of uh, anxiety, depression, loneliness, um, all these different types of things, different ways to handle emotions and struggle with them. But uh, Madeline and Madeline represent, you know, one of the most optimal ways to resolve those types of conflicts. And so I, I loved that aspect. I love the encouraging words on the postcards, you know, like, you can do it, you know, this is a really difficult game. and very rarely are games so genuinely encouraging, right? Sometimes you see it's like, oh, dev don't give up, like you can do it, or like, oh, if you need help, like do this, blah, blah, blah. Or sometimes they'll rage at you and like, come on, is that all you've got? But this game offers support and, and because of the themes, because of the characters, it feels so genuine and it really comes across. It's so uplifting despite being so crushing at times. Um, it's beautiful in that regard. The scenery, the atmosphere, all contribute to it. They're beautifully designed. They look great. Um, I love the CG, right? Like these little clips of art showing, like, like look at how cute that is. Madeline and Madeline just like getting along. Oh, we're already at the end of the credits. No, <laughs> I have so much more to say. Thanks for playing. Wow, thank you for this game. Truly, truly an incredible experience. Um, are we gonna see that old lady? Oh, and Theo, welcome back. Madeline, did you make it to the summit? Yeah, we did. Oh, I love that. It was incredible. Beautiful, isn't it? I didn't think it would be worth it, but it totally was. 
I should have given you my phone so you could take the ultimate selfie. Oh, Theo. <laughs> Theo cracks me up. Another great character. Good evening, everyone. Oh, Mr. Oshiro. What are you doing here? Little Bird told me there was to be a party. RSVP by Bird. Positively magical. <laughs> but if I'm unwelcome, I shall take my leave. Please stay, Mr. Oshiro. It's good to see you. You know, this is the first time I've seen you outside that hotel of yours, Oshiro. I'm glad you made it. Madeline here is baking us a pie with all the strawberries she's been collecting. Oh wow, this is gonna be a big pie. Oh, that's wonderful, Miss Madeline. I haven't had strawberry pie since I was a kid. This is gonna be amazing. Don't get your hopes up. She's not much of a baker. <laughs> Ooh, shade. You also said I wasn't a mountain climber. Ooh. True. I can't promise it'll live up to the hype, Theo. But I tried my best. So, are we gonna get a nice CG of them all eating strawberry pie? That'll be wonderful. So wholesome. How's it taste? Oh, we are! Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. I'm impressed. This gives my baking a run for its money. I wonder if this actually varies based on how many strawberries you got. Not bad. Holy crap, this is so tasty. Miss Madeline, are you available to cater our reopening banquet? <laughs> Can I take a slice home for Alex? She'll die when she tastes this. Oh, so cute. 128 out of 175. Oh, so then these are like the end game stats. 968 deaths, 8 hours, 41 minutes, 12 seconds. Uh, with a good amount of that <laughs> spent talking to people in the middle of recordings when I get interrupted. But... Overall, pretty happy with it. I think there are a couple strawberries that I got cheated out of. Um, but we covered a decent number of them. Um, we still have a lot to we still have a lot to do in the game. Um, so epilogue. And this place. What is this place? So is the epilogue everything that we just played? I think it is. So let's let's check out this area real quick. The core. Chapter 8 core. Oh man, actually, wait a minute, is this, is this the place? About a year later, I don't want to get too involved into something. Okay, actually, yeah, I don't know, I don't want to jump into this right away. I think we're going to return to the map. Um, we'll start this in, in another episode, because this seems like we're getting into a whole other thing. My, thought, my thoughts on the game up until this point, uh, as the credits have rolled, this is probably like the base game we've finished. Um, the story is excellent, music's excellent, art, wonderful. The platforming is super fun. It's challenging, it's difficult, but it's also fast paced and also got a fair amount of puzzle solving, both in planning and on the fly. Um, it controls really well. I'm a huge, huge fan, really enjoyed it. I can see why this, this game is loved by so many and like I said, I'm excited to try so much more. We have this chapter 8. I know there is a chapter 9. I know there are the crystal hearts. I know there are the strawberries. I know there are the B-sides, apparently C-sides. Um, so get ready. There's still plenty more Celeste to be played. If you've been waiting to see some of these really difficult challenges, they're, they're coming up soon. So get excited. Let me know what your guys' thoughts were when you first finished the game or if you just seen the ending for the first time, what your thoughts are on the game up until this point. I'd love to hear what your experiences were because I feel like it, this game is a game that can really speak to everyone differently because everybody's at different points in their lives um, so yeah uh, thank you so much again to those of you who suggested this thanks to Nate for actually buying this game for me um, I believe Mitarai Mango you were the first person to actually suggest this game for the channel way back when I did VVV VVV although the game had been on my radar prior to then but Thanks again so much for your support up until this point. I hope I see many more of you in the future when we do all of the extras, all of the difficult challenges. And what was that? I got to tend to that. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode when we take a look at Chapter 8 and maybe collect more of the strawberries and get going with all the extras this game has to offer. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>